Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and three and a half years ago, we installed this polycuramine floor coating in my new garage. Now, uh, the polycuramine is similar to epoxy. It's a little thinner, and the epoxy comes out more kind of uh, thick and uh, wavy, and uh, this stuff goes on a little bit smoother, and it shines a little bit more. So that is the difference between the two. You can watch my install video, and I also have a four-month and a one-year review. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like after three and a half years. And uh, something I want to mention is this floor um, stays just as beautiful as you see it here, where it's not used of course but keep in mind this is a DIY channel for auto repair and reviews and things and we've done all kinds of stuff to this floor we've changed several transmissions motor mounts installed headers all kinds of stuff so uh, you can see here the install video and the reviews uh, I'll put a link to that in the video description if you're interested um, but uh, ultimately today I just want to give you a uh, three and a half year review this is what it looks like today um, it's a little bit dirty. You can see where I've cleaned it a little bit and there's still some streak marks, but it is holding up fantastic. Uh, I'm very happy with it. And if asked simply, yes, I would completely do this again in a heartbeat. I have no regrets on it. Everybody who's moving into a new home, I tell them to please do this while your garage is empty. Uh, here's a section that doesn't have a lot of travel on it, of course, and so you can see how good it looks. And here it is completely dirty from the other night. Uh, it rained, and so as soon as we pulled the Yukon in, it uh, obviously dripped and got dirty. This is the section over here that's not as dirty, where I just pull my other car in, my yellow Cobra, and uh, that's just driven on weekends. And over here, uh, this car gets driven even less, but you can see how nice it is still here, just uh, having not really had much uh, traffic or anything on it. So I uh, just want to give you an all-around look, and I'm going to go ahead and give you some footage, too, of as I cleaned up uh, this mess right here, um, and just kind of show you how easy it still wipes up to this day and how it holds up. I haven't had any chipping and uh, problems with it, uh, unless it was something I uh, you know, did as a major accident, which I'll show you where I did drop uh, something on, I think it was a dumbbell or something that chipped the concrete, so of course it's going to go with this. And of course, this is not scratch proof, you know, I mean, you can still scratch it. I'll show you later in the video too some uh, of the scratches, but a lot of them, if they're very light, can be hidden uh, just by cleaning them out. So uh, here's a good section right here as an example. I'm just spraying this down with uh, some purple power cleaner and uh, microfiber rag. And so I'm going to go ahead and just show you here as I'm uh, just mopping it even with my foot. Uh, it still comes up really well and you can see the nice uh, coating underneath is still pretty much intact. Uh, of course it's going to be scratched and it's going to be you know swirl marked and everything um, if you put it through the punishment that I have with all of these auto repairs. Rolling the jack around, uh, you know, you got a transmission that won't come away from the engine and that kind of thing. It's sometimes you're just having to pull on it and it's, you know, just, it's going to scratch the floor as, as the jack moves around. But, uh, where I haven't been completely horrible on it, it is still in excellent condition. And where I have been tough on it, it still is holding up really well despite, uh, any of the imperfections that I have done to it. But I just want to show you that uh, the quality of it here is still really good. Okay, so here's a section that I just cleaned, and as you can see, it looks good. Here's where I chipped uh, a chunk of it out, but I dropped like a cement dumbbell there, and it came apart. So that was definitely not uh, the product itself failing. And here's some scratch marks, as I've told you. You can see they're pretty deep from you know, things happening during maintenance repairs. But you can see this tile that I've cleaned pretty well, and I haven't put a lot of hard work into it. But, uh, you know, here's another clip too, just to show you. Uh, this is uh, me working on the transmission on an F-150, and you can just see, obviously, this floor has been through a lot as we've moved dollies around on it and floor jacks and had to set transmissions down and, and things like that. But uh, anyway, uh, here's another tile that we're gonna go ahead and clean. And um, I did this just under a little different lighting circumstances so that you could see. And I sped up the footage not to bore us, but uh, I'm just going to show you just lightly spraying it. Uh, it still wipes up really well. And that's what I love about this floor, whether you're doing an oil change or whether, 
whatever you're doing, it's a rainy day and the car comes in dirty or muddy, it will clean up uh, relatively well, even after three and a half years. And so um, I'm very happy with this product. The epoxy has been known to chip a little more, and I did the epoxy of the same color in my other house. And it was, uh, I only lived in that house for two years, and it was still good when I left. Uh, the polycuramine is said to be um, more chip resistant, and so I went ahead and went with it this time. And I have noticed it's a little less wavy. Uh, is kind of the way that uh, it comes across. It's uh, kind of a smoother coating, but uh, I really do like the polycuramine from Rock Solid that we we applied here. So uh, again, here's just a quick cleaning. It's not uh, anything too major, but just wanted to show you that uh, the floor, for being a garage floor, uh, has cleaned up and withstood very well. So again, that's kind of a clean here. Uh, good tile compared to one that's not as clean. So here's somewhere where I have dug down into it. See, you can see it's into the concrete. Nothing the uh, floor coating can do about that. But uh, just to show you, it hasn't uh, given me many problems chipping. Now what I want to show you here is I'm rubbing out some of these scratch marks. So if you look there, it's actually the floor is scratched, but if you get some cleaner down in there and you rub it pretty good, you can see how I've made a lot of that disappear. Uh, if it's if the cut in the scratch is not too deep, then cleaning it out, it, it just looks like the rest of the coating. Uh, it just depends on how bad you have indeed um, scratched it and messed it up. But uh, it's nothing to really talk bad about the coating itself because that will happen uh, if you... Uh, if you scratch and I'll show you another scratch here, but uh, overall I'm still very happy with it. I would completely recommend it uh, Please watch my install video and other review videos as well So you can kind of see but uh, I mean the floor has lost a little bit of its luster and here's a little bit uh, You know, here's a little scratch that was there from moving something I forget what it was But if it cuts down into the cement obviously the coatings, you know gone, but it hasn't really spread much from there so um, it's still holding up really well in my opinion. So uh, you can also see like this dark tire track. It was uh, cleaned in the tile right in front of us here. Uh, so that it still does wipe up, but you're obviously going to leave tire tracks and everything as you drive on it just like you would on regular cement. But uh, this floor has been down some pretty bad roads with uh, all of the repairs that we've done. You can look through the videos that I've done on the channel to know what I'm talking about. But... Uh, all in all, it still cleans up really well. All these spots, um, there's a few things like uh, I was doing, I was bleeding the brakes on my wife's car and on the Yukon, and uh, there was still a little bit of brake fluid that spilled on the floor, and the car sat down on it, so. Uh, the tire put some pressure onto it and it kind of etched it into the floor so that's something that you could uh, imagine would happen but all in all it's holding up great I'm still very happy with it despite the abuse that I've given it and if you uh, install it and take good care of it it will continue to last so here's what it looks like three and a half years in and let me know if you have any questions and please uh, check the video description uh, for the other videos and subscribe to the channel if you're new here thanks guys